the book of Jeremiah chapter 17. I will read from verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusts in man, and makes flesh his arm or strength, <laughs> and whose heart departs from the Lord. For he shall be like the heat in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh. Shall not see when good cometh. But shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land and not inhabited. May the Lord bless his word and cause it to prosper in that we are unto he has sent it to bless us today. In Jesus' precious name I pray. I'm speaking on God's wisdom for your preservation in health. The Bible says, Woe to him that makes flesh his arm, cursed be he that trusts in man and makes the arm of flesh his confidence in times of challenges. I want you to know that there are two ways you can secure yourself. Either you secure yourself God's way or you try to secure your, your, yourself any other way. Any other way. Hear me, hear me well. No matter what other means you try to secure yourself, that is not God's way, that way makes you absolutely insecure. Listen as I read again this particular passage of scripture. Psalm 121. There are eight short verses and I'm going to run through them as fast as I can. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keeps thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth his people, the church of God, or the Israel of either the old or the new covenant, he that keeps his church shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shield upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. <laughs> the Lord shall preserve thee from all level. Take note of this statement. The Lord shall preserve thee from all level. The sun rose by day, so whatever comes upon humanity via the sun or heat or any orchestration of evil, God says he will preserve you from it. The sun will not smite thee by day. There are arrows that fly by day. This, what Bible calls destruction that wastes at noon day. <laughs> there are terrors by night and there is pestilence that locks in darkness. The moon will not smite thee by night. Whatever has to do with all the evils that the devil engages to destroy people at night or under darkness, God says he will keep you free from all of them. The sun shall not smite thee by day because the Lord shall be thy keeper. The moon will not smite thee by night because the Lord shall be thy shade. There is nothing that is happening to the unbelieving world that is to come near you if you are a child of God and understand the place of trust in God. Bible says in Proverbs chapter number 3 verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Not with most of your heart. <laughs> not with almost all of your heart. He says, lean not to your own understanding. To your own understanding, never do that. But in all of your ways, acknowledge God as your keeper, as your preserver. 
and the Lord will show you the way out of every challenge. He shall direct thy steps or thy paths. Listen, COVID-19 has come, whether it's a hoax or a facade, the same material. People are apprehensive, people are fearful, people are appearing to be insecure because of the fear of death. If you look at the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 14 and verse 15, the Bible says, For as much then as the children of God are partakers of flesh and blood, <laughs> he also, Jesus Christ, partook of the same flesh and blood, that he, through death, might destroy him that had power over death. That is the devil. And he had the good news. And set free like bread and deliver all the people who throughout their lifetime have lived subject to the fear of death. Nothing torments like fear because fear has torments. Please listen. God wants you preserved. God wants you kept. But until you free yourself from fear, that which you fear might come upon you. Job said in Job chapter 3 and verse 25, he says that which I greatly feared has come upon me. He was afraid and he was making sacrifice almost every day because he wasn't sure if his children were doing what was evil. So to keep them secure under God, he was offering sacrifices. But one day, all the fears Job had they came upon him. And he said that which I have feared all my lifetime have come upon me. When you live your life in fear, you attract the devil and the all kinds of evils. Fear magnetizes the devil and evils to you. Until you are free from fear, you will never be free from the works of the enemy. That's why faith is a shield. Taking the shield of faith, Bible says, where would you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy's arrows? When you choose not to live your life in fear, but live your life by faith in him who died for you to set you free from every evil you see your faith becomes your victory ticket over all happening upon the earth for whatsoever is born of god overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith god wants you preserved but for as long as you live your life in fear you handicap the saving part of god the preserving part of god from working in your life. I pray for you today that no matter what's happening, you will never allow the fear of evil hitting you get you down to the point of living your life under the torture of the devil. May that never happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you know what David said? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou hast prepared a table before me. And I am not going to, you are not going to watch what you have prepared for me. Get wasted. You have prepared a table, a banquet for me in the presence of my enemies. So no COVID. There's no fucky. There's no, <laughs> all these names. No gates. No fucky. <laughs> They will be able to stop me from feeding from the prepared table. No COVID, no David can stop me. No China, no Chinese can stop me. There's nobody that can stop me from feeding fat from the table Jehovah has prepared for me. For thou art with me. Thou art with me. Jesus said, go, lo, I am with you. Any wise stand is there. I embody Jesus, so I live my life Totally confident that there is no weapon of the devil formed against me that shall prosper. Many of us quote these scriptures, but it doesn't mean that it was why, because there's no connectivity between the heart of man that is quoting and the mouth of the one who is speaking. It's only when your heart, when your spirit man is connected with Jehovah, that your security is enforced. Please listen to me. God wants you preserved from every evil, from every plague that is ongoing presently. And even though that will say come. Listen, in the book of John, chapter 16 and verse 33, Jesus Christ said, listen, in me you have peace. Take note, if you are in me, you have peace. In the world, there is tribulation. But it says, be of good cheer, for I... I have overcome the world and all the forces of pressure in the world. And this is all power in heaven and on earth is in my custody. 
when he opens the door of hell, no devil can shut it. There is no COVID-19, 20 or 30 that can stop it. Listen, I enjoy divine health. My prayer for you is that you will come to terms with the fact that God is able to keep you. God is able to keep you from all evils. To keep you from all evils. Hear the word, he said. He that keeps you shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shadow upon thy right hand. The sun will not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. You are not to fear their fears. You are not to panic by what panics men. If you are a child of God, Bible said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. When Moses appeared in Egypt to bring the people of God out of Egypt, there were forces working against them. But when he put down the rod, all the rods of the magicians were swallowed up. What was in the rod Moses carried was more powerful than what was in the rods of the magicians. Listen to me. No matter how terrible it gets, you are safe. I pray that you will get me right. Well, no matter what happens, I want you to know that you are safe. Until you know that you are safe. As you know your name, listen, you will struggle with fear. And if you are afraid, you open the door for the devil. God's wisdom for your preservation is tied to one thing. To what you believe and to what you say. Hear me again. God's wisdom for your preservation is tied to what you believe and what you say. David, the little boy, at 17 appeared, we are saw the king with all his armor and men and army we are hiding. He said, what's the problem? He said, there's a Goliath there. He said, who is Goliath? I'm going to bring him down. They said, you are a boy. He's been a man of war right from his childhood. You are nothing but a boy. He said, forget about what you think about me. I'm going to bring this man down. Now tell me, what will be done for the man who brings this man down? They told him, he said, let no man start fear. Let no man spare him. I'm going to fight him. I'm going to bring him down. We appeared before Goliath. The man looked at him and despised him. As many of you look at some of us and despise us. You look down at us because maybe our finest of English is not what you want. But it doesn't matter. There are people that God has ordained to be your saviors. I am one of them. I am sent as an ambassador of the Lord to save to bring people out of their fears and doubts and worries. And I'd like you to hear me clearly. Since the 31st of May, 1991 today, I have been in all kinds of places that I'm safe, safe from sickness, free from every evil. Because the one who says, I will preserve you from all evils, is not a liar. And I know he's competent to keep his word. It has gone forth out of his mouth in righteousness and cannot return back unto him for it. So when I know that what he has said must come to pass, I am not afraid of today and I am not afraid of tomorrow. Bible said, what about if some refuse to believe that God will do what he has said? With their unbelief, make the faith of God that has been revealed by what he said to be a lie. He said, God forbid, let God alone be true. Let all men be liars. There is God's wisdom for your preservation. It is tied to what you believe and what you say. David said, I'm going to bring him down. Goliath said to him, am I a dog? You are coming to me with your little catapult and stones. He said, don't worry. What I am coming against you is not this. I am coming against you in the name of the Lord God of Israel, whose armies you have defied. Every COVID that defies the army of God must suffer an onslaught from my hand. Listen to me. This evil plague will not take your life if you can hear and believe me. This evil play can never come near your family if you can hear and believe me. It is not the will of God for you to suffer or live a life in fear of any pandemic, no matter the name. COVID is a horse. It can't stop anything. People are only making money out of it. But hear me, hear me well. Those who are behind this evil to keep people down, to keep people at home, to keep people in suffering, the hammer of God's rod will hit hard on every one of them without an exception. Mark my words, without an exception from the least to the greatest, everyone who is a supporter of them, my God will visit them with his judgment. But Jesus Christ says, I wrap it up, be of good cheer. No matter how much of fear they have, be of good cheer. Never be of any fear, be of good cheer. 
God's wisdom is for you to maintain your faith, maintain your confession, and maintain your joy. Hallelujah. Never let what they fear become your fear. Thou shalt not fear their fears. Never. Don't allow their fears to have a hold on you. My prayer for you is that you will know that it is the will of God for you to live and not die. And every price required to keep you alive in the midst of every evil has already been given. Jesus Christ came as God's son. And the Bible says, whosoever believes in him should have everlasting life. They are not to perish. And many can perish through sickness, but not you. As you hear and believe, I want you to know that from today, your rest in God has just started. And no force will push you out of it. God says, I will preserve you from all evils. I will preserve your soul. I will preserve your spirit. I will preserve your body. Your spirit, your soul, and your body. I will preserve or blameless without any blemish. That means without any touch from any evil. Listen, you are safe. Don't be afraid. COVID is not going to mark your end. You are going to see the end of COVID as you have seen the end of yesterday. And I know you will see, give, give your testimony. God bless you. I love you all of my heart. I love you with all of my heart and I wish you well. Please, mind what you hear and mind who you hear. Don't listen to liars who are preaching evil doubts, evil, fearful things, doubtful things. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. The good news is that you are not going to die. The good news is that you are not going to perish. The good news is that you will share your testimony. You are headed for a glorious end that no COVID will terminate. God bless you. Love you greatly and I wish you all the best. It will soon be over. You go and do your business unapprehensive. God bless you. Let me stop there. Bless you. You are blessed.